I wanted to quickly show you guys what I am packing. In 48 hours, we're gonna be running the Dallas Marathon. Oh my gosh. I like can't wrap my head around the fact that I'm about to be running another race. I knew going into the ultra that this was a possibility and now that I'm actually signed up, I'm like, I like can't believe it. Happy Friday. I'm Molly if you're new here and I'm so excited that you're here. I am a lifestyle and running blogger. Uh, my husband and I live in Austin. We had just moved back here after having a short stint in Fort Worth. I have a whole moving vlog if you want to check that out but I'm just so happy you're here and this weekend is the Dallas Marathon. My husband has been training for it since Austin since Austin, since August, haven't had any caffeine in my system yet. I literally just woke up. Um, he's been training for it since August and I ran my first ultra marathon three weeks ago. And so we had always said, if I feel good after the ultra, I'll just do it with you. It's his first marathon and this will be my 10th marathon. And we're like, that'll be so cool to run it together. So I literally signed up two days ago because I was like, Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm kind of nervous. I really haven't been running that much since the ultra marathon. I'm gonna see if I can put y'all somewhere so I can finish getting ready. Oh, it's a little dark, but we're gonna make it work. So I really haven't been running that much since ultra marathon. I took a full week off and would have taken two off if it wasn't for potentially running this race. Um, and then I think I've only run four or five times since. One of those was a 12 mile run, which I did last weekend, last Sunday, and I felt pretty good. However, my knee has been starting to bother me and I've also had some back issues since moving. So I don't know if it was just, I was not, you know, doing proper form as I was bending down and picking up the heavy boxes or what, but I'm kind of nervous about my back and my knee and also the fact that I like haven't been running as much, but I am really excited too, and I'm really excited for him to run his first marathon. I've been telling everyone he has not enjoyed training as much as I enjoyed training. I like love, I just love everything that training like adds to my life and he kind of felt like training like took away and like just didn't allow him to have the time to do the things that he wanted to do. So he probably didn't run as much as I recommended that he ran, but he is still going to do great. He literally the other day was like, I really hope it goes well because I don't want to hear you talking about how I should have run more during training. And I was like, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I would do something like that. It's gonna be really fun and I'm so excited just to take you guys along. I think we've got just like a normal day here. We'll probably start packing tonight and then tomorrow morning we will drive to Dallas for the expo and then we'll probably drive back to Fort Worth and stay with my parents um, and then drive back to Dallas for the race. So it's gonna be so much fun. era. I want everything to be like so organized, so clean. I just felt like the last place we lived in, it was 400 square feet, actually like a little bit less. I think it was around like 360 or 380. So I just felt like I couldn't ever have things like completely organized, which might sound like the opposite of how it would be when you're in a really small space, but I just felt like we didn't even have enough space for everything and so things were just out and so now I've started to order a couple of things for us to really be really organized and be able to enter into 2023 feeling a lot more like calm and organized. I'm still getting a few things in the mail but one thing that really bothered me in our last place was how many cords we always had out like charging like my aura ring at night, charging my watch, charging phones, charging headphones, like literally just so many chargers and I was also starting to lose track of them so I ordered these um from Amazon and I'm right now I just finished eating lunch and I'm taking a little bit break a little bit of a break from work and I think I'm just gonna organize all of the cords just because that's something like simple I can do and it's really been bothering me whenever you move to like a new space you don't really know what you're going to need and so once we got here I was like okay we're gonna need a lot of things to be able to organize everything properly so um kind of been looking on like facebook marketplace like placing a few orders on amazon and things still feel very chaotic here but we are slowly getting things more organized we really don't have like any furniture at all so i know it's going to be like a slow process um making this place feel like our home but one of the first things i really want to do like i said is just get things clean and organized <music> Go get bagels. I woke up 
so freakishly early this morning. I woke up at like 4 a.m. and of course couldn't fall back asleep. So just went out and had quiet time, journaled for a long time, was on my phone for a bit. And then I started working on a vision board for 2023, which was really fun. But now, like I said, we are off to get bagels and grab some coffee. And then we're gonna go back and pack for the marathon. How you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> for you guys dinner is going on but it's gonna be great so I can't wait to show y'all where we're grabbing bagels it's one of my favorite spots and I haven't been here in such a long time either <laughs> Okay, I was drizzling a little bit on the walk back, but I wanted to quickly show you guys what I'm packing for the marathon. I posted a, like, what should I wear for my race day outfit yesterday on Instagram. So Instagram chose what outfit I'm going to wear. So here's the outfit. I'm wearing my Hoka Clifton 8s as usual, and then I'm wearing um, these fun outdoor voices shorts. They're the relay shorts, and then I'm pairing it with this orange top that I actually wore for my ultra marathon and it's the Lululemon Tech Swift, I think like 2.0 or something like that. Um, but the weather should be in the upper 40s, low 50s, so I'm going long sleeve in shorts and then I've got an old Lululemon bra and wherever they went. Um, my Bomba socks. And then for accessories, I have two different body glides. I put them literally everywhere. <laughs> then I have Noon. We'll probably drink this on the way over from Fort Worth to Dallas. I've got this joint and muscle therapy. I like roll it on um, my hamstring and my Achilles. I don't know if it actually helps, but I feel like it does, so I like it. Obviously have Tylenol. Then these electrolyte fast chews. If it's going to be humid tomorrow, which I kind of think it is, I'll be sweating more than usual. And so we want to make sure that we're, we're taking in enough electrolytes along the way. Not bringing my hydration vest, so that's just out. Then I also have the double spy belt that I will be wearing. I keep my phone in one pouch and then the gels in the other. The gels I'm bringing, I'm bringing Huma. I'm bringing KT tape. I might have to um, tape my knee tomorrow morning just because it's been hurting me. I have sun. Ooh, hello. <laughs> I have my Goodar sunglasses. Open Run Shocks headphones. They're the best. They lie right outside of your ear, so I love them. And then this hat, which I'm not sure if I'll wear or not, but if it's going to be sunny, I will have it. So there you have it. That's everything I'm packing. That was slightly chaotic, but hopefully that gives you a good glimpse of everything that I'll be like using and what I need for tomorrow morning. Okay, just made it to Dallas. We're about to head into the expo and it is raining. It's supposed to literally rain until like 5 a.m. tomorrow, but then it should stop right before the race. And real. <laughs> staying in my parents house and they're downstairs and I think they're in bed now so I won't be quiet but didn't vlog a single thing when we got into Fort Worth we um got back here it was really fun to be back and my sister came over and brought like pizza and all different kinds of pasta and so we all hung out and um, ate dinner together and played like a Christmas like trivia game which was really fun so we hung out for a bit and, and then just came up here and started to prep so we've been stretching laid everything out so I've got everything and didn't forget anything which I was kind of nervous about just because I feel like we packed really fast but didn't forget anything um so yeah I'm feeling good my alarm is set for 5 a.m tomorrow it's a little bit before nine now so we are very on track I'm very proud of us but I'm um, gonna go ahead and just wrap up everything from today and I'll check in with y'all tomorrow morning <laughs> So I can't remember if I've said this here or only on Instagram, but Dom's goal 
we've identified the A, B, and C goals, which is great advice, whether you're running your first or your 10th marathon, it's always good to have A, B, and C goals so that no matter the outcome, you're excited about how you did. Um, so Dom's A goal is to run a sub 410 marathon, and that's my A goal too, since I'm trying to keep up with him. So my fastest marathon was a 406, and that was like, I think that was like five years ago, four or five years ago. And I have not seen that pace literally since that race. I don't know what the heck happened that day. So I don't know how I did that. So it's gonna be really exciting to see if we can keep that. I'm kind of nervous because I'm like, I have no idea if I can keep that or not. So we're aiming for like um, the first few miles to be around like, hopefully around like 10 minutes. And then we are shooting for 9.30 for the majority of the race. So that's the goal. I will check back in with y'all after to see if we achieve that. I probably will not be able to record much during it because I'm going to be fighting for my life to keep that pace. So can't wait to check in with you guys after. We're gonna see how it goes. Ben, did you enjoy our Dallas you enjoy Good morning, one day after. I literally could not even pick up my camera yesterday. I was so freaking tired. I'm kind of talking quietly now because Dom is still in bed. It's 8.30 right now. Y'all, yesterday was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. So I ended up running a 4.13 marathon, which <clears throat> my PR is actually a 4.06. I literally don't know what the heck happened that day. My dad and I ran that when we ran the Nashville marathon back in like, 2017 so it was like five years ago I must have been in completely different shape at that time because that seems like impossible now um, so this was like the best time I've gotten since then and that time literally seems so like far off from the paces that I run now because when I ran Austin in February my time was 434 so I literally beat that time by 21 minutes which is absolutely insane and I wasn't even like trying to get faster this year. I did speed workouts when I was training for the ultra, but like that wasn't even a goal of mine this year was to get faster. And I literally beat my marathon time by 21 minutes and Dom accomplished his goal of getting under 410 and he got a 407 time, which is absolutely insane. So it was so much fun. I wish he was awake. <clears throat> to come and join in and like tell you a little bit about it but it was so much fun we stayed together for the first 12 miles i literally was like you are going so fast right now and he was like i feel great and i was like okay then like we'll just keep going this pace if you feel great like i said we're gonna run the pace that you want to run so like let's go and i was like oh my gosh like i literally was tired by like i mean my legs were like starting to feel by like 13 and by like mile 16 i was tired i was like Oh my gosh, I still have 10 more miles to go at this pace, but <clears throat> I was like, okay, literally like one freaking foot in front of the other, like dig deep, like let's go. Um, had some injuries like kind of like hurting, but they were like popping in and popping out. So it wasn't anything too bad. I lost him at mile 12 because I had to go to the bathroom. I literally had to go to the bathroom starting at mile three and I never want to wait in a line. So I just like kept waiting and waiting. And then at mile 12, I was like, this is unbearable. I have to go. So I waited behind like one person and I was like, oh, I'll just like catch up to you. Like, do not slow down for me, like keep going. And so I went. And I literally could like still see him. Like for six more miles, I could still see him, but I was already tired. And so I was like, I cannot speed up because I will like exert all my energy to speed up to catch up to him. And then I won't be able to keep that pace. So I was like, maybe I'll just try and like steadily increase, but he was increasing his pace. And so I literally could never catch him. So that was when I lost him. I lost him when I had to go to the bathroom, um, which is so funny. That's like something that would happen to me. Then I just never caught him after that point and had him in sight from, mile 12 to 20 and then there was a hill at 20 he ran up it and i was like nah i'm not gonna run out that thing i'm just gonna walk um that was the only time i walked and yeah it felt amazing i like i said i really haven't run like races for like a fast pace in such a long time and it was so much fun to run it that fast like i'm trying to think back to austin and i just feel like i didn't i like, didn't even know I could run it at that pace, if that makes sense, just because I'm not, I just love to run for fun. I just like love, like I'm like, I'm chilling when I run. Like I don't push myself too much when I run. Like the training for the ultra was the first time that, like I said, that I actually went out and like did speak, speed workouts and like went out and like really pushed myself during training. And so I feel like this is like the first time I'm like really, at least in a long time, experiencing like going out and like pushing myself and like, seeing how fast I can actually run. And it's really fun. My heart rate was 160. 
And for the ultra, it was 145. So I definitely feel more tired and like sore after this than I did for the ultra, which someone pointed out on Instagram. It could also be because we then literally like hopped in the car for three hours, which definitely was a struggle. I was so tired. I drove, Dom slept, which I told him I would do. I really like the Dallas course. I, I don't know if I would do it again, honestly. I've done it twice now, and then I've participated in some of their like Saturday events, which are like, 5k's and maybe even the 10k um it's really fun they have really good community support but i'm kind of like okay i feel like i feel like i've done it now i kind of want to do something different but it is really fun and there are certain like neighborhoods that have a lot of really good community support and like the energy is super super high but then you're around like the white rock lake area just for such a long time and i don't necessarily love that that's kind of what like san antonio was like to me where you were just like along like a trail park for such a long time where i like races where you're able to experience like different parts of the city city more so yeah but i'm really glad we did it it was just so much fun to be able to do it together and even though we weren't together for the whole entire thing like even running together for two hours like it was just such a blast and he loved it too which made me so happy like three miles in he was like i want to do another one and i was like okay let's see at the end how you feel i'm also really not sure what's next i was really hoping to sign up for an ultra this week depending on how this marathon went which this marathon went great and i feel great I was going to sign up for a 50 mile race and saw yesterday that it's sold out and was kind of like browsing quickly last night. I really don't see any other ones in like the time frame that I was looking at that I want to do. So I don't really know what I'm going to do now. So I need to figure that out. It was such a fun day. And then afterwards we um, went to go grab lunch with his family and my family. And so that was a blast too. We were there for a couple hours and then literally got in the car and drove straight here. So that's why I didn't vlog. I was just so tired. And I was like, I literally can't even like pick up my camera or my phone. I'm too tired to do anything right now so yeah that's it and i think i'm gonna wrap this up here i hope you guys feel like you got to come along on this weekend and this marathon with me and with us and yeah we're both so happy i'm so proud of him doing your first is such a big deal and such a big accomplishment if at any point um you guys want me to do any type of like q a video with like both of us we can talk about our experience or anything like that um let me know in the comments below because we would be more than happy to do that so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys next time